Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you. Sometimes your computer is doing weird things and you just need to troubleshoot by rebooting into safe mode. So you might have noticed that Windows 10 doesn't work the same way as it did in Windows 7 where you could just keep hitting F8 key repeatedly and trying that on Windows 10 doesn't do anything. There's a couple of ways of accessing it here. The first way is if you're already logged into Windows, you can go through your start menu into restart, but before you click the restart button, hold down the left shift key on your keyboard and keep holding it while you hit restart. It says please wait and continue to hold the left shift key until you see this screen, at which point you can let go of the shift key now. So from this screen, we want to go into troubleshoot and then you do have an option here to reset the computer if things really are that bad and you need to re reinstall everything but you want to go into the advanced settings and here is what we want is the startup settings when you click into there you're gonna see that you'll uh, have a few options including safe mode and here's the restart button here it restarts the computer and gives you these options that it was talking about. So you can see the safe mode is number four, or if you want to do safe mode but still have internet access for testing something that requires internet or your local network, then you're going to need to choose number five. So it will still put it in the safe mode, disabling everything except for the networking. But if you don't need networking to troubleshoot whatever the issue is that you're having, then it's better to go with number four. So we'll hit four and it starts booting into Windows. Then you'll see once it's booted up, the screen looks a little larger than what it was and it says safe mode in all four corners of the screen. So you'll be able to troubleshoot Windows and go from there. What if you can't log into Windows and you want to go into safe mode? You can still do that at the login screen. You'll see the little power button over here that you can click on Then there's the option to shut down or restart. So once again, you would just hold the left shift key when you click on restart and you may have to restart anyway if things are open and then you'll have the options again to just go back through the exact same process that we went through earlier and you'll get to the same screen. Failing that, if the computer doesn't even want to boot up at all, you'll have to use a disk and using a method through another video that I made, I'll link to above and below, you can also go through bootable Windows disk and get through these same startup options. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you did find it helpful. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.